Well, today I'm going to take you on an adventure in Tomogamy, and it's not going to be what I planned, and what I planned isn't going to work, and then the next plan isn't going to work, but it's still going to be a heck of an adventure. I hope you stay tuned and watch the video, and uh, enjoy it. I just got to my turn off. Two and a half kilometers left and this is uh, the road into the access. Um, I'm nervous, I'm not gonna lie. But I have an all-wheel drive and um, I guess I'm just gonna pray. I don't know. I'm gonna go just walk down it a bit and take a look because this is pretty scary. I don't mind driving through the hedges, but it's the road that looks like it's sunk in the middle that freaks me out, because there was a sinkhole here last year. I'm actually quite impressed how much I got done. I probably chopped about 30 or 40 branches. I uh, brought my awesome hedge clippers from home. It's actually, I use it for trimming trees and stuff. Uh, the only problem is this. Uh, you can't really, it's so hard to tell um, hills and stuff on video, but this side here is way higher than this side here. Um, but I'm pretty sure I can make it through. So uh, it looks like it actually straightens out a bit here and it looks a little better. So I'm going to walk the rest of the way and then uh, I'm probably going to drive it. Well, I've done quite a bit here and uh, Looks like the worst part is just at the beginning. Just been walking and uh, trimming anything that looks like it would be really bad. Clearing the road. And uh, I think it might be okay. I'm hoping it stays open like this the rest of the way. It's amazing how big of a limb this hedge trimmer, uh, tree trimmer can get. I just took that whole branch out. Ooh, okay, so I got two trees I have to saw so far, and uh, hopefully the end is near. <laughs> well, it's been almost an hour. I'm making pretty good progress. I'm still walking. I just checked the map, and I'm only like halfway to the portage. <laughs> um, oh, crap! I need both hands for this. Uh, there's quite a few trees over the trail. And uh, I'm getting most of them with my clippers, but there's four of them right now that need the saw so far, and looks like there's two more up ahead. So I think I'm gonna have to walk the whole trail, then come back and then saw it. It's gonna be a long night. I've just come up to this. There's a huge hole, and uh, yeah, I'm not, I don't think I can drive on that. Well, I'm still continuing to clear the trail because I've been going so long and uh, it's been about an hour and a half. I've gotten so much done and I was just determined. I was like, I brought some plywood and I thought, well, I'll just put it over that hole and drive over it quick. But uh, I think this is where the sinkhole was last year. And um, by the looks of it, it's back. And there is no way that I'm gonna be able to drive through this. This really, really sucks. All right, the bugs were going crazy on me because I'm all sweaty and hot and nut is down, so. Um, I was told that it was gonna be really hard to get down this road, but I have all-wheel drive. I brought all the things. I have shovels in my car and plywood and tire fixer and extra, like a battery booster. Um, I brought a bunch of tools, saws, stuff like that. Clearing the trail is not a problem for me. I'll spend like the rest of the night doing this just so I can go sit beside the water there and have my dinner and start my loop. But driving over a sinkhole, I don't, there, it's not even wide enough for me to get through here. There's no way I can get through here um, with my car. And uh, my, my GPS is still saying that I'm 
a good kilometer away from the trail. I'm really disappointed. I really wanted to go through this area before the logging roads went in, but I can't, I can't risk getting stuck out here. There's nobody out here. I'm going to film this sinkhole quick for FOT and then uh, get back to my car. Well, I guess it's a good thing that I did not drive down this road. <laughs> I was going to go get the car and bring it to where the first down tree was, which was, uh, I don't know, about 500 meters in. And uh, I would have had to back it all the way out once I got to that sinkhole. So I guess there's a positive. The negative is it's 6.30. And I have no idea where I'm going to sleep and no idea what I'm going to do, but I'll figure something out. Here's a turtle. Hi, turtle. Well, when I was researching for this trip, um, I originally was going to come up the day before, like I did, and uh, I thought, I would stay at a campsite close to the access um, and there's one about an hour, well, hour-ish from the access. It's at the uh, Lower Goose Falls and um, I thought I would check it out and uh, I'm glad I did because there's a campsite here and the view is absolutely spectacular. The bugs are insane but that's okay. Um, so I'm going to stay here tonight and uh, I'm going to cook up my food. This is unbelievable. I'm going to go check it out after I uh, calm myself down. I've been like just driving like crazy. I scraped the bottom of my car at one spot. Um, it's really hard when you're out here and you, you don't know where to go and there's no, there's no way to contact anybody. There's no way to get a signal. I was like, well, I could drive to downtown Tomogany, maybe stay in a motel for the night because um, the other loop that I was thinking of doing, like the backup loop that I thought about, um, is all the way on the other side of Tomogamy. So um, it's not like I can just drive to the Axis tonight. And uh, I don't know, it's just crazy when the plans don't work out, it just kind of screws everything up. But I have got mosquitoes all over me. I'm going to uh, go prepare myself and then uh, I'll come back. There's a trail, um, probably an ATV trail that goes down from the top part there. So just kind of wandered down to check it out. And uh, it's pretty cool. There's lots of sand here. Ouch. There we go. Beautiful. So over there is the view of the waterfalls that I uh, showed you when I first got here. There's a fire pit here. This is the drive-in. The road is here. And uh, there's another fire pit over here. And somebody's left a bunch of wood, which is lovely. And uh, the absolute prime feature of this campsite is the custom barbecue privy. First I thought it was like a deer stand or whatever, but it's like a, a closed in privy. Then we got a full roll of toilet paper there and it looks like it's recent. It's all dry in there and everything. Keep that shut so the bugs don't get in. So that would just be crazy in there. All right, I found there was a little bit more wind up here than down over there. It was really, really buggy over there. And uh, it's not quite as bad here. It's still really buggy, but there's a little bit more air. So I just brought my Marmot tungsten two-person tent and uh, just set it up. I left both of the doors open um, to get some air because it's really warm. It's supposed to be I think 36 with the humidex tomorrow so 
Um, it's not supposed to get super cold tonight. I've got my uh, Marmot sleeping bag in there. I believe that's the Trestles. That's the one that's uh, rated for minus nine. And then I just have my Thermarest pillow and my uh, older Thermarest mat. I brought the gigantic one. So um, just super easy. Threw some clothes in a plastic bag for tomorrow because tomorrow I have like that outfit I'm putting on for tripping. And uh, I just brought some sweatpants and stuff for tonight and uh, an extra book to sit and read. Although I will probably be doing trip planning now instead. <laughs> um, so it's almost eight o'clock, I'm starving. So I'm gonna make up my dinner. I have a cooler in my car and inside of it is two palm bays, which I'm looking forward to very much right now. I brought my Coleman stove. So just super easy, just gonna set it up, cook everything on there and um, eat because I'm hungry. In no time at all, I have got the Coleman grill set up. I've got my pork chop on. I already seasoned it and everything at home, so just had to slap it on the grill. And uh, I brought some asparagus, also put some olive oil on them at home and some garlic, roasted garlic powder. So um, everything was just ready. I just had to throw it on. And uh, got this little table that was over on the other side. So I'm just standing here looking at the beautiful waterfalls and uh, Cracked myself open a nice palm bay. It's supposed to be my celebration to start my big loop. Cheers, everybody. My pork chop is cooked and uh, it smells amazing. And my asparagus are done, so I'm gonna sit down and eat and hopefully the bugs don't bother me too much. I took the top off the tent and uh, as soon as I'm done eating, I'm gonna clean up and then I'm gonna go sit in there and uh, get to trip planning. So um, hopefully I find something and I figure out uh, how to get there from here and all that stuff. I'm just going for a walk to the bridge here, which is the way I came in. Oh, it's nice to have bug spray on my hands now. So they're not biting me while I'm filming. <laughs> Just got a drink with me and uh, just gonna go over and uh, take a look at the falls from a couple of different vantage points. This is the bridge that I came in on. Right, this is the kind of stuff you drive in when you get to Tomogamy. I just drove over that. You have to make sure to pick the right boards because uh, that wouldn't have been too good on my tires. <laughs> Gorgeous. sunset here but I'm just happy I have a place to camp it's too bad I can't hang out there by the waterfalls on the bridge it's uh, it's nice and breezy there and there's like no bugs I was like oh this is lovely and as soon as I started walking back I was, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> ah, bug season in the north so much fun all right I am sitting inside the tent now bug free the fly off well I left part of it on but I took most of it off so I can see all the things put the chair away put the cooler away put the barbecue away I had one drink and I'm feeling pretty buzzed and I still have to figure out where I'm camping so I'm not gonna drink the other one I totally lucked out with this campsite I'm so happy hey well it's 11:45. I am exhausted. I'm so tired and I have a headache. I've had a headache for about four hours. I just want to go to bed. It's really hard to just snap your fingers and replace a route that you've wanted to do for almost a year. I was so looking forward to doing this route, staying at Talking Falls, you know, doing this whole route before the logging road goes in and it's destroyed. And, um, it's hard to replace that just like 
boom, just pick a root and replace it. Um, there's not going to be anything as grand, definitely. I did find a loop eventually that I like and I'm pretty happy with it. It's very easy. Um, it's only like eight portages instead of 28 and I think it's like 2,500 meters in portages instead of like 7,500. Um, so we'll see. Um, I'm looking forward to going to sleep right now and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Good morning from the Sturgeon River. I am at Lower Goose Falls campsite in Tomogamy and it is 6.30 in the morning. I was up at 4.30 which was way too early and uh, I did not sleep very well or very much. It's supposed to be raining right now, it's not. However, it is very overcast and cloudy and uh, there's thunder showers expected until noon. Well, good morning again. It is 7.30 on Tuesday morning. Um, so I'm just packing everything up in my tent here. I'm gonna throw the tent in the car quickly uh, before it starts raining, hopefully, and then uh, make up my breakfast and then I'll be on my way. Ooh, the sun's been poking out a little bit here and there. It was a teeny tiny sprinkle while I was putting the tent away, um, but that's it. So who knows? Maybe the weather's changed. I have got the uh, Coleman grill out. I'm about to make my egg sandwich. Everything is packed up otherwise, and uh, I'm ready to eat and get on my way. All right, super easy breakfast here. I just uh, Got a couple of little teeny tiny packets of butter that I had. Put one in the pan. I'm gonna crack the egg and put it in there. Toast in the English muffin. And voila, instant egg sandwich. Well, after just 12 hours since I arrived at this beautiful campsite that totally saved me last night, um, I'm ready to go. I've eaten. I feel refreshed. I still have a bit of a headache, but it's not too bad and uh, The weather isn't looking too terrible. It's supposed to be thundering and lightning right now I kind of wish it would get it over with because I don't want to get there and get on the water and have it happen But if I do I do All right after several hours of driving I have finally arrived at the Iceland access um, it was actually east right from where I was but because there's water in between, I had to go down and then over and then up. So finally here, I'm excited to get my canoe in the water and start paddling. Um, it'll be nice and yes, the bugs are ridiculous. All right, well, I am finally on the water. It is not raining. I had a signal for a little while in between uh, locations and rain in the forecast until possibly later today so that is great I redid all my screenshots and um, hopefully they're a little more accurate because they're now for a, a more general area and uh, I'm on my way through Iceland, Iceland Lake and I'm a happy happy girl right now I'm not as happy as if I'd be doing the Twinkle Lake loop that I wanted to but Everything happens for a reason, I guess, so whatever that may be, maybe I'll find out on this loop. Oh, I'm just making my way through Iceland Lake to the 280 meter portage. Um, this morning while I was making breakfast, I made this lovely sandwich. Um, I did bring my cooler along for last night. Um, because I was planning to spend the night at the access, which uh, I didn't do, but I still was at a campsite. Anyways, it's been in the cooler up until five minutes ago. So um, it is almost noon, so I'm just going to chomp on my lunch while I'm paddling. I also have some chocolate chunk cookies and uh, sporting my brand new Salas PFD. I just did all the adjustments to make it fit nice and uh, cozy. And uh, I'm super excited to have that on. So, so beautiful here. The birds are just going crazy. There's so many of them. I hope I see some wildlife. The last time I was on this lake, I saw a moose. 
swimming across the lake and I would just be delighted to see something like that again um, this week. I think I might stay on Driftwood tonight, which is just the first lake after the portage. And then uh, tomorrow, a lot of the thunder and lightning and the weather forecast has cleared up. So either tomorrow, if the weather is good, I will make my way to Wasakasina um, and stay there, maybe for two nights if it's nice, and uh, then just stay on Ardile the fourth night and head out. We'll see. I'm playing it by ear today. It's beautiful out here. It's so quiet. Oh, I've arrived at the portage into Driftwood. Well, I certainly wasn't expecting to see this on the other side of the portage. Here I thought I was portaging so that I could get it to a lake that didn't have speedboats, but apparently there was a huge misconception. There's a whole bunch of Incredibly beautiful lady slippers here in the portage. Something I first saw in Tomogany <laughs> around this time of year last year. So pretty. So just a side note, <laughs> there's a bunch of different trails in here. I just stuck to the ones, uh, I just kept veering right whenever there was a juncture. I'm not sure if they all go to the lake. I'm assuming they do, but just uh, something to take note of if you come out here. Uh, just stick to the right. Well, the portage has been extremely buggy, which is to be expected at this time of year. And uh, it was worse yesterday when I was clearing the trail for sure. This is way more open. Um, but. Not a big deal. I have the bug shelter with me, so I'll be setting that up when I get to camp. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Driftwood Lake. Well, despite the fleet of speedboats at the portage, it seems to be rather quiet out here. Oh, it looks like a spectacular campsite complete with furniture, which is good because I don't have my chair. Um, See a really good place to land here anywhere so I'm gonna have to do a non-graceful entry. <laughs> Too bad I can't film it for you. I'm sure you would get a good laugh out of it. 